Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to show you how you can use Twitter to log into your Meteor application. Now, this is going to be super easy. We're going to add a module, hook it up to our Twitter developers account, which we'll show you how to obtain, and then you'll have a login with Twitter button directly on your page. So keep watching. Let's get going on that right now. So here we have our app that we left off with our standard sort of login here. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign out. That way we can see our changes here. And we have the just username and password form right now. But let's go ahead and add the accounts Twitter package. So head over to your command line and we can do meteor add and then the package name is accounts hyphen Twitter. So just like accounts hyphen password and all that stuff that we used before, accounts Twitter pretty much gives us everything that we'll need to use a Twitter account as a login. Okay, so as you can see, it uh, installed a few packages for us and our server's completely restarted. Now let's head back to our application and now you see when we click the sign in button, we now have some options. We now have this configure Twitter login or username and password. So you can lock in the standard way with the username and password or you can uh, click this button here to configure the login setup. So what that means is basically uh, we haven't configured, we haven't added an application yet. So let's go ahead and click configure Twitter login. And what it's gonna do is it's going to tell you to uh, visit dev.twitter.com slash apps slash new. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that in a new tab. You can see right here, it's our application. Let me bump up the font size here. Okay, and it's telling you that we need the callback URL set to basically your local IP address and then whatever port and then forward slash underscore OAuth forward slash Twitter. Okay, so let's come here to create an application and this is just going to be, uh, it's okay, Chrome, okay, resolutions. And the description is going to be our monthly resolution tracker. Um, I don't know, I capitalize it M, it doesn't really matter, okay. And now for the website, this is just going to be the local so we can just have that IP address without this extra stuff here. And the callback URL is going to be uh, what it told us before, so our local IP address, colon 3000, and then the OAuth Twitter stuff. Okay, so after we get this information, uh, it says on the settings tab, enable allow this application to be used, sign in with Twitter. So if we scroll down, uh, we can agree and create our Twitter application here. Uh, it's going to uh, say that resolutions is already taken, so we can say my resolutions. It might need a, a more um, secure name than that. Okay, looks like we have uh, application has been created uh, at my resolutions, and we have this monthly resolution tracker with our settings tab, like I did mention before. So if we click that, we can come in here and we can find this checkbox that says allow this application to be used to sign into Twitter. Cool, so let's check that. And you can even give it an application icon that will show when you go to log in with Twitter. You don't necessarily have to. Let's go ahead and update these settings. Okay, so now what we really need out of here is the key. Now it's asking for our API key and our API secret. So if we come up here to the top where it says keys and access tokens, we can select that and we now have a consumer key, which is the API key. Let's go ahead and copy that. And I should note that you want to keep these values. Uh, you want to keep them secure. Basically, the only reason I'm showing you what mine are right now is because I'm going to delete this application uh, as soon as this video is over. Okay, so we can paste this in here. And then the API secret, I'm going to select that. And that's the consumer secret API secret right here. And I'm going to paste it into our API secret. So we can choose either the pop-up base login or redirect base. Um, we wanna go with the pop-up base because it does say it's recommended. This way it's not going to take the user off of our page. So let's go ahead and click save configuration. 
And now we have this awesome option right here. Our button is no longer orange and it's no longer sort of a warning, but we now have the option to sign in with Twitter. So let's go ahead and click sign in and let's click authorize the application because I'm already logged into Twitter. If you're not, it's going to ask you to log into Twitter. But you can now see it has my name from my Twitter account. So that is awesome. But let's say we wanted to figure out what is included in this object. Well, I'm opening up my JavaScript console and my inspect element. So now in our JavaScript console, we can actually use uh, what we have learned before. When we wanted to get a collection in our JavaScript, we did resolutions.find. So now what we want to do in our console, just to get a list of this object here that contains our user, we can just say uh, Meteor, capital M, Meteor, dot users, dot find, just like that. Now we get this collection, which we can open up, and it has a whole bunch of uh, Meteor stuff in it. So if we want actually to just get the object itself, we can type meteor.users.find.fetch. Now fetch is going to return just the JavaScript object. So here's both of our users. Here's the user we created before with the username of admin. And if we open up the second object, here is our new user where we have a different, uh, we have more objects inside of here. So we have a profile object. If we click that, you see the name is Scott Talinsky. And if we uh, come in here and click services, we can also see that the services Twitter object has some more information. So we can access this information like uh, the Twitter screen name if we want to go ahead and use that. We can even get the profile image using this object itself. Cool, so this is all of the information that we end up getting from signing in with Twitter. And now your customers or your clients or whoever doesn't have to make a new account special for your website if they already have an account to something like Twitter. Cool, so in the next video, we're gonna show you how you can do the exact same thing using Facebook. So now we're gonna have two options, how to log in with Twitter and how to log in with Facebook. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.